Hi, this is Matthew Brickman with iMediate Inc. This month I want to talk to you about House Bill 967 or the Collaborative Law Process Act, which Governor Rick Scott signed into law on April 25th of 2016. Now, on its face, it sounds like a great idea because it creates a uniform system of practice for the collaborative law process for proceedings under Chapter 61 and 742 of Florida statutes. It encourages the peaceful resolution of disputes and the early settlement of pending litigation through a voluntary settlement procedure, and it preserves the working relationship between the parties to a dispute through a non-adversarial method that reduces the emotional and financial toll of litigation. Wow, that sounds awesome, doesn't it? Well, it does if you are an individual who is going through a legal proceeding and if you are a mediator, because now mediation is statutory under House Bill 967. You have to come to mediation. It's the Collaborative Law Process Act. But how does it work? So here's how it works. Each party in the divorce would retain a family attorney. Cha-ching, both parties would hire a mental health professional. Cha-ching, And both sides would hire an independent financial advisor. Cha-ching, again. Then everyone, the spouses, the attorneys, the retained uh, mental health professional, and the independent financial advisor all come and sit down with a mediator. Now, this process is private and confidential. Well, of course it is. It's mediation. It's private and confidential. And either party can put an end to the process at any time. But there's consequences under House Bill 967. So what are the consequences? Well, the consequences are this. If the parties don't settle and they decide that they do want to go to court, then neither of their lawyers can represent their clients in litigation. So that means that if they go to trial, now they have to hire two new attorneys. Cha-ching. And then they also cannot depose the professionals. So they can't depose their mental health professional or their financial advisor. So they would need a new health professional to come in and testify about whatever they're alleging. And they would have to hire new financial advisors to come into court to testify about the finances. So, okay, while this is good because it does encourage people to settle early on because otherwise it can really get expensive, it's still a very expensive process. And the problem that I see is this. The people that have the money to pay for the attorneys, pay for the mental health professional, pay for the financial advisor, and pay for mediation... Well, they're smart enough that they aren't going to waste their money on all these professionals. They're going to take control of their lives and settle peacefully and privately in mediation. The people that really need it, well, they don't have the money for it. So when you take the lower income or even middle class, they don't have the money for an attorney, a mental health professional, a financial advisor, and mediation. If you've got a highly skilled and highly trained mediator... You don't even need the attorneys. So you can skip the anywhere between two and a half, maybe five thousand, ten thousand dollar retainer for each attorney. And you can skip the five to seven thousand dollar retainer for the financial advisor. And you can skip the cost of the mental health professional for two, maybe two fifty an hour that they would charge. And you can simply come to mediation for a couple hundred dollars an hour. And you can file your own papers, you can get through your own process, and get in and out of the entire divorce for under $2,000. Total. Not each. Total. So, while the Collaborative Law Process Act is a good idea, and it's a step in the right direction because it does help people avoid litigation, it still doesn't do what a highly trained mediator with two parties can actually do without involving all these professionals. If you'd like to have more information about iMediate Inc. conducting your mediation, call me at 561-262-9121, email me at mbrickman at ichatmediation.com, or visit us online at imediateinc.com.